Well, we're outside. Here's our caravan. Here's our cover. At the moment, we've already laid it out, ready to go. Let's just have a quick look at some of the, the, the highlights of the, the cover. First of all, the material. This is actually the roof. It's a, a triple layered construction roof. We've also got some zips and some straps, which will help with opening and closing once it's actually been installed. This is the pole holder, which we use to help us actually bring it over the top of the caravan. There's a whole heap of Velcro around the cover as well, which will help with some straps for tensioning a little bit later. And then down the side here, there's a breathable area. So there's an air vent as well. So we're just about ready to go. It's a little bit windy, but uh, we'll give it a crack and uh, see how long it takes to install our cover on our caravan. <laughs> Now with the cover on, why don't we take a little bit of a walk around and have a little bit closer look at the actual cover. Now you would have seen when we first put it on, we lifted it up with some poles and took it across. We didn't so much get caught halfway, we did have two air conditioners to get across and we found a bit of tension. Come back and check and we found that that got caught on the front of our um, A-frame, but just lifted that up and got it on. So that was really the only thing that stopped us from putting it on all in one big go. Now the cover itself, now that it's on, we've tensioned up the front. So there's a couple of strong assistance flaps that pull around and tighten it. And they're on just these cable release that you pull in, lock in tight. There's reflectors on the front. I guess if you're parked in the driveway of somewhere, you, um, you want to be able to see it driving in. There are some, if you have a look, reinforcing on the sides, and this is tensioned as well. So that wants to fold under and go around. If we come around to the offside here, what we're yet to do is put the underneath straps through. Now there's, I think there's five of those. I've already pushed one through. They're just straps similar to the same. They've got clips on the end of them. We'll have a look at one way on the other side. But when you pull that through, that'll pull the remainder underneath. Now the material itself feels quite, yeah, quite strong. You know, it's, 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 it's strong material. There's those uh, vents that Linda was talking about beforehand. So that's going to let some air get through. And you can see the top part of the roof is where that triple layer is. There's the pole lifter that we put in. So we just put a couple of our uh, poles that we've got in the shed. Put them up, lifted them over, and it worked quite well. There's a zip at the rear. So you would have seen this. We've had to roll that bit down and then roll that up. Reflector again. Now, there is a zip on this side. But if we come around here, there's a zip in the middle and a zip down the front. So if you had a rear door entry caravan, you would be undoing this zip and the zip at the rear, rolling that up, and then you can see it's got the Velcros. You would have seen when we did the van, uh, our cover, that we had this side lifted up because that's where our door is. Now, in regards to those tensioning straps underneath, I have put this one here on. And there it is there. It just clips on like so. Now, from underneath, in. Tension it up. <laughs> and it's done. And the zips, they've got little uh, Velcro covers over the side of them. So, you know, was it a hassle to fit? Well, we don't think so. We did it in less than five minutes. It's in place. I guess now the proof's in the pudding. Will it protect our van for the future? Right at the moment, I say it will. <laughs>